Fuck me, there aren't many comedians that need a sherpa to get on stage, are there? Um, hello? Jesus Christ, how high is this? I'm getting a nosebleed. And I'm going blind as well. You know that song of Stevie Wonder's, Very Superstitious, The Writing's on the Wall? How the fuck does he know? <laughs> Must be in Braille. Um, yeah, hi, I'm John. Uh, hello. Um, I'm disabled, in case you didn't guess by that 20 minute fucking segue there. Um, actually, a segue would be quite useful for me, but um, yeah, I'm not Jack Carroll, right? I'm not the lads from Britain's Got Talent, right? I'm not a 15 year old boy. If you fantasise it about me being a 15 year old boy, seek help. Although it is nice to be fantasised about for a change. Um, there's nothing wrong with being disabled and being a comic, apart from the fact that other comedians are a bit strange and say some strange things to you. Uh, one guy came up to me after a gig and he said, uh, what, can, what disability do you have? And I said, oh, cerebral palsy. And his response was, oh, that's not so bad. <laughs> oh, uh, thank you, Dr. Shipman. Uh, <laughs> I apologise that my chronic illness isn't good enough for you. Um, I, I, I wondered whether he had a list on his wall, you know, and he looks at it and he goes, oh, cerebral palsy is only number seven, it could be worse, you could have leprosy. <laughs> yeah, well, you could have a broken jaw, you cunt, but I'm not going on about it. Um, but, I mean, I mean, that carried on because, like, after I, I did that piece of material, I'm from Preston, by the way, in case you can't tell from my accent. Um, I did that piece of material where I'm from, and uh, guy, he comes up to me afterwards and he says, uh, is that right about you having cerebral palsy? And I was like, well, why the fuck would I lie about it? You know, it's, uh, you don't even get the benefits anymore. Cheers, Tories. But, um, no, I mean, I think I'd choose something more exciting, like a lion tamer or something, but... I said, yeah, yeah, that's right, I've got cerebral palsy. And he said, oh, right, he said, because I just wanted to let you know you're very high functioning. Oh, thanks, I always wanted to be fucking Robocop, nice one. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, those are the kind of things that happen to me. Uh, I also get misdiagnosed a lot. Um, there's a rumor going around my workplace that I have cystic fibrosis. I don't, right? Nobody's, it's, I'm not contagious, no one's ever wobbled away from me. <laughs> Only if I've kicked him in the fucking shins first for asking that. Um, yeah, all, all kinds of weird shit happens to me. And I like to walk, I mean, I know you wouldn't think it, but I do tr like try and walk everywhere when I possibly can, but people that fuck me off are the people that come up to you and you go, hey, you should get one of them motorised wheelchairs. And I go, yeah, you should get a fucking gastric band. Um, you'd be surprised to hear it doesn't go down very well. Um, oh yeah, by the way, I don't know Oscar Pistorius, stop fucking asking, right? We don't all know each other, and I didn't shoot my girlfriend because I haven't got one. Um, there's a twinge of sympathy there, but not much, so thanks. Uh, yeah, I don't know him. All disabled people don't know each other. There isn't a club. I mean, if there was, where the fuck would we all park, you know? Um, <sighs> you seem to really like me, so I'm getting a bit distracted. That's the most happy a woman's ever looked in my presence. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm good with that. Um, <laughs> I've made myself all nervous and uncomfortable now and I was enjoying myself. Um, no, you've probably noticed that I say some stupid things and it hasn't always helped me in life. Uh, I'm, I, I work in IT now, which breeds sociopaths and comedians. Um, decide which one I am, I don't really give a fuck. But I ended up with that job because I kept giving sarcastic answers in interviews. Like people would say, do you really want this job? And I would say, no mate, I fucking love coming to Salford at 9 o'clock on a Monday morning. Or they would say, where do you see yourself in five years? And I'd say, shagging Paloma Faith. Um, I'm going to be honest with you, Manchester, it's been three and a half years and I'm no closer. I uh, think all I've got so far is a restraining order, but never mind. But you'll do, it's all right. Um, Jesus. Um, I've never thought I could make a woman orgasm just by talking, but I think I just did. Um, so that's good. <laughs> So, <laughs> I think I might just talk to you for the rest of this. I, I like this. Yeah, public flirting. Yeah, that'll end well, John. Rapey. Um, yeah, let me, get, let me get back on track. Yeah, so I ended up with, a, with an IT job, and I had a manager who didn't know how to motivate his staff. Uh, the only thing he could do was go, oh, for fuck's sake. He was from Birmingham. He hadn't had a stroke, right? I feel I should point that out. I kind of wish he had had a stroke, because at least it would have put a smile on his face, but never mind. Um, <laughs> I don't give a shit, I love that joke. 
the only time I didn't enjoy it was when I did it at a charity gig for Bolton Hospice. Well done, John. Yeah, that was a great idea. Um, yeah, I say plenty of stupid things, but I get annoyed by stupid things as well. Like, I fucking hate politics, right? I'm sure there's a lot of you that feel that way in here. We've just had the local elections, people saying they want more power, they want more power. Yeah, 4,000 volts ought to fucking do it. Shut up. Um, you know, or people saying, oh, the world's doomed. All right, then what are you going to do about it? Fuck all. Right, shut up then. Um, that's just me going off on one, sorry. I feel like I'm losing some here, but never mind. Um, yeah, I get irritated because I'm, I'm, I'm young. I mean, I know you probably can't tell. Uh, this, this job has weathered me somewhat. But um, I, I don't like a lot of people that are my age group. They tend to share a lot of things on social media, talking about traveling like it's something fucking impressive. It isn't. Okay, you've just paid a lot of money. What the hell? Keep, go keep going, son. You might get it started around the room. You never know. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, like, it's not impressive, is it? I mean, they've paid a lot of money to get some exotic diseases and a hangover. Now, given that I come from Chorley, I can do that for three quid on a Friday night. Um, and I, the, I've done travelling myself, but there's a couple of things I don't understand. Number one, why does everyone clap the pilot when he lands the plane? He's only doing his job, isn't he? And it's like, fucking well done, you didn't crash it into the sea. I mean, I mean when I finish telling a joke, no one claps me, do they? I appreciate it, but that wasn't a joke, so... Uh, <laughs> no, I have been travelling myself. I, I went to Norway last year, which was really nice. Uh, nearly got mugged on the first day. Uh, that was interesting. But, uh, yeah, travel does give you new experiences, because I learnt I could run. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> that, that, that was nice. Um, now, this story is another travelling story, and a lot of people think it's a sad story, and I used to think it was, but now I think it's fucking hilarious. So let's see what you guys think of it. About two years ago, I fell in love with this girl, right? Um, Okay, now. Are you this fan club that I've got that I don't know about? Um, anyway, we'll, we'll, we'll get to that in a bit. Um, yeah, I fell in love with this girl and she was working abroad for the summer. So, shut the fuck up, are you? Tell me the joke. <laughs> so, she was working abroad for the summer because if I say I was in love with her one more time, I'll never finish this fucking joke, right? Um, so, yeah, I went, I went abroad to visit her because I thought it'd be nice and she was into all the Disney stuff. So, I had visions of being a prince, right? I wasn't. Uh, I didn't tell her I was going, so that's when it crosses the line from being a surprise to being creepy, but never mind. Um, and also, I wasn't a prince, it turned out I was Quasimodo. Um, you're supposed to laugh, not <laughs> you know, like, come on. I wouldn't mind, yeah, I was Quasimodo and I didn't even get my bell rung, so it was pretty shit all around. Um, I love that fucking joke so much. Um, yeah, yeah, and, uh, but like a worse thing happened. I've started travelling on my own because I hated going with other people and it was because of an experience on this, on this trip. Um, you see, it all went wrong, as you know. I didn't get my happy ending, but uh, one, th one person that did get a happy ending was my travelling partner. He was getting it from a Bulgarian prostitute. So, yeah, uh, I'm no longer interested in travelling with other people, uh, or at all, for that matter. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I get irritated with a lot of stuff, I did say that, and, and people have tried to help me with the fact that I'm obviously painfully single, I think would be the best way to describe it. Um, people have asked me to do stuff like plenty of fish and Tinder, and I just say no fucking chance, because like, the way I see it is the McDonald's of the dating world. Yeah, it's cheap, it's quick, and it's good when you're drunk, but it'll give you a lot of health problems when you're older, so... Uh, <laughs> So I don't do that. Um, people try to inspire me with inspirational quotes. I fucking hate them as well. Uh, Marilyn Monroe, if you can't handle me at my worst, you don't deserve me at my best. Well, Marilyn, your worst was dead from a drug overdose, so never mind, eh? Uh, don't, don't really want your best. Um, Tiger Woods was a good one, actually. He said you should always be a role model. Now, I've tried to follow his example, but I haven't shagged anyone yet, so... Um, yeah, so that was good. I mean, I mean, I'm pretty good at golf, don't get me wrong. Uh, no, I'm not actually. I'm not good at golf, but I do have a great handicap. Um, <laughs> that's pretty new, but I do like it. Um, yeah, I talked about lyrics. I don't like this Stevie Wonder one. It's a load of bollocks. I don't like the John Lennon one. Imagine no possessions. Fuck off, John. If you came back with no possessions, you'd be trying to get shot again. Piss off. And I think I can get away with calling him a scouse cunt in here, can't I? So, yeah, we'll move on. Uh, incidentally, you shouldn't do that joke in Liverpool because then you get chased out by 400 angry scousers. It's great. I don't know if you've ever been chased by chickens on speed, but that's what it sounds like. Um, so, yeah, that's good. Uh, no, the final quote I don't like, and a lot of my friends, like, 
they're a bit like living fortune cookies, as far as I'm concerned. They come out with these meaningless phrases. The girl I mentioned earlier, she posted on Facebook, probably about two or three months after all this happened, she posted, uh, good guys are like unicorns, everyone talks about them, but I don't think they exist. I replied saying, fuck off. Good guys are like people from Liverpool, they do exist, but no one gives a fuck about them. Um, <laughs> oh, come, fucking hell. It's not a therapy session, it's a comedy show, come on. If I'm laughing, you can, right? If I call myself a spaz, you can, right? Just let's get over it. Let's have some fun out here. No, I'm, I'm, I'm going now because I'm tired. Um, <laughs> it's surprising how tiring sitting on a stool is. Jesus. The doctor did warn me about painful stools, actually, but yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm taking a show to Edinburgh called Lunatic of the Fringe. Uh, I'm following up last year when I went to Edinburgh and my show was lacking one thing, which was an audience. Uh, hopefully this year I'll actually have one, that would be good. Uh, I call myself a lunatic because I am. Um, I didn't have a good start in life because when I was born my dad was in hospital. Uh, he'd fallen off a trailer because he was dancing. Uh, why was he dancing on a trailer? He was fucking pissed, I don't know. But he was celebrating that I'd been born and uh, I've always tried to outdo my dad. And the fact that he got, when I was born he had one broken leg and I had two makes me think, fuck you dad. Um, <laughs> But one thing I've never done in all the crazy things, this is the highest I've ever been, and by that I mean I've never taken drugs, right? Now the reason I've never taken drugs is when I looked into the effects of some of them, they really fucking scared me, right? For example, if you take cocaine, you can find yourself jabbing on endlessly to a room full of people who uh, don't give a fuck what you're saying. Um, and if you take cannabis, you think everyone's staring at you. Well, Last time I was here was about, probably about two, or th no, I think it was three years ago, and uh, it actually took me longer to get on the stage than I spent on it. Um, tonight I've had a lovely night, you've been a wonderful audience. Um, if you did like me, uh, I'm on Facebook, John Porter Comedy, and as you can probably tell, I'm desperate for social interaction, so uh, <laughs> feel, free to, uh, feel free to chat away. You've got a great night ahead of you. I've got a uh, good 20 minutes ahead of me getting off here, so... Uh, have a good rest of your night and I'll hopefully see you soon. <laughs>